What is up, you guys? It's your favorite tarot reader, and I am back. Except for I'm not back with another read. I am back with a How I Manifested My Husband slash Twin Flame, day 29. Y'all, I got cheated on. So, this morning, at like 8 o'clock this morning, I woke up out my sleep, and this girl had wrote me on Instagram. She sent me four messages. She was like, get Jonathan. He's a manipulative liar and cheater. And then she sent me a screenshot. This nigga told the girl, like, this was on August 12th, y'all. It is, mind y'all, I don't know what else he been doing because I don't go through this man phone. I don't, I just don't be caring. Like, I just don't be caring. So, August 12th, he wrote her, he said, I love you, I miss you, and I want to see you. Three different messages back to back. She wrote back, like, Johnny, leave me alone. <laughs> Like, whole, he's a whole-ass joke. Like, if you're going to cheat, at least cheat with bitches that want you. At least cheat with bitches that want you. Like, okay, so, as y'all know, um, I put everything on YouTube. I put my life on here. This is something that is my testimony. This is how I heal. This is my experiences. It's pretty much my life. If I was on TV, y'all would get the breakups and the cheating and shit, too. So, it is what it is. Um... Last night, which was the Leo full moon, um, August 18th, I prayed to God and I just kind of was like, put, put something on my heart. Like I just pray for a healthy marriage and I pray for us to be able to communicate with one another. And I pray for us to reveal things to ourselves that maybe we didn't know. I literally said reveal things to us that we don't know. I wasn't even talking about cheating. I just meant like our shadow side, things that maybe we could improve on stuff like that whole time god like bitch, i reveal something to you all right so this morning yeah i woke up to that and honestly like i don't have tears about it like i don't have tears about it i'm not sad about it i'm not emotional about it i'm not i think because more than anything i kind of felt like it because one thing about me I'm not insecure about myself I'm not insecure about my looks or what I bring to the table my sex who I am as a woman my spirit my soul you know how I show up in relationships or friendships or whatever I'm not insecure but I kept feeling like I'm like it's something off like it's just like this don't this not it like I'm not feeling this I don't really want this like I knew and I have been trying to break up with him for it's been y'all seen it's been months and for something just kept pulling me back I kept I think I was more scared to lose him to somebody else than I was just to lose him period because every time we got into a fight and I broke up with him I would be hella ready to be done hella ready for things to be over between us but I would get scared that he could find another girl and it would be like, well, I don't know. I guess I just, I didn't want him to be with somebody else. And I think the only reason I didn't want him to be with somebody else was because it's embarrassing. Like, it's really embarrassing going from being in a relationship to not being in a relationship. And before, I really did keep it a secret. Every time we broke up, every time we were fighting, I kept it a secret. But this time, I'm not doing that. Like, I'm not going to protect him. You know, like, he cheated on me. And I shouldn't have to sit here and just look stupid. I shouldn't. I don't know if he's messing with other girls, but I wouldn't doubt it. Like, I wouldn't doubt it. And it's crazy because he wrote somebody who I'm friends with. Or that I was friends with and I told him he knew that I had a relationship with her so in my mind I feel like he wrote her purposely so that she could tell me so that we could break up because there is no other reason why you would do that unless you wanted to get caught unless you didn't want to be with me but you just didn't know how to say it so it's like I kind of feel like it just it was supposed to happen like I I don't know like I don't I don't really know how shit supposed to work like now I am getting emotional because it's like I feel like I'm like I know that I'm aligned with everything that I'm supposed to be doing God is showing me that every time 
whether something is a mistake, whether something goes wrong, whatever. Like, God is constantly showing me that I'm aligned. You know, I get synchronicities that's showing me that I'm exactly in the right space at the right time. So I know I'm doing the right shit, but it's kind of like, damn, like, now what do I have to go deep within myself to figure out during this time? Because, I mean, honestly, I feel like I need to trust myself more because I had been telling myself the whole relationship that I wasn't happy, that I needed space, that I was happier when he was out of town, that... I was I was working more, I was producing more when I wasn't around him. And I had never listened to myself, so maybe that's the lesson. Because like I said, y'all have seen in videos, I had been fed up. I had been fed up. But I just, I couldn't, I couldn't, I think I just didn't want to go back to being single. Like, if I can be completely honest, that's probably what it is. And I kept telling myself that, like, love is going to have to go through stuff. Like, love is not going to be easy. It's not just going to be rainbows but for somebody to deliberately like deliberately talk to somebody that you know like I just feel like there is absolutely no respect there and before we even got together I told him if you ever cheat on me you make your own bed because I'm not going to accept a cheater we we talked about this before like this was something that we've I kind of feel a sigh of relief But we as a couple got some really shocking news a couple days ago. A couple days before he wrote the bitch too. And we were really excited about it. We was really happy about it. And now I don't really know what to do or how to feel. And I'm just... I'm in a position where I just want to be happy and I just want to do what I'm supposed to be doing for me. You know, like I really, I want what's best for me. Like I, I want peace, whether that's with another person or by myself or just me and my baby. Like I pride myself on kind of person that I am and I pride myself on my healing and my spirituality because I've worked so hard to get to where I am and it's just like the lessons never stop you know you never stop figuring stuff out I guess and it's been difficult but at the same time, I feel like, like, freed. Like, I feel like I was way more stressed in the relationship than outside of the relationship. But it felt good. Like, it was comfort knowing that I think I had somebody. But even that, like, that was one of our biggest arguments. I kept telling him, like, I feel like I'm alone in a relationship. You know, like, we... I just feel like this this is it like this this is what it's supposed to be like I look around my house and it just feels so good to have it be my house you know like I just I'm appreciative like I I wanted to be mad at her, like, you miserable, that's why you sent me this, blah, 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 but she wouldn't have had a reason to send me anything if Jonathan wouldn't have wrote her, so I just, I can appreciate it, and I can be thankful, and I can be grateful, you know, like, I can, I can appreciate the fact that God was looking out for me, even if God had to use her to reveal to me that it's best for me to be single I can appreciate that I can accept that because like he, I've been asking God to reveal shit to me for a while and it's just kind of it's, 
it's sad when it comes, but it's but I think it's only sad for a while. It's only sad for a while. Because y'all know, I be on here crying and hella emotional. Y'all seen me cry over everything. Y'all seen me cry over him before. And... <laughs> Baby, I feel like I got confirmation. I feel like God blessed me tenfold. Like, I don't... It's crazy because I thought I was going to feel some type of way. I thought I was going to want to snap on him and curse him out and fight him and do all of this. And it was nothing. It was just like, okay, we don't got to argue about it. We don't got to fight about it. He woke up. He packed all his stuff. And he just left. It didn't have to It didn't have to be nothing. Like, it literally just was like, okay, I accept this. Like, I fucked up. It is what it is. And me, I'm just kind of like, okay, just we don't got to argue about it. Just get your stuff and leave. And I honestly... I'm just thankful because I don't know what I would have did. Like I was, I was starting to be so unhappy again. And I, I just, I've been ascending so much. Like that relationship really did make me just see me in, in ways that no other relationship has made me see me. So I feel like he was supposed to be in my life. Do I feel like he is my husband? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Because I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I don't double back. I don't double back. I feel like everybody is in your life for a season, a reason, a lesson, or a blessing. And I feel like he was here for a season, a reason, and a blessing. I mean, in a lesson. All He was here for all of that shit. But I don't feel like he here to stay here to stay I do not feel like he's here to stay um I just don't <laughs> I don't got no reason to keep him in my life I don't got no reason to feel like we can get past this I honestly I don't want to get past it because my trust would continuously be fucked up I would want to go through his phone or I wouldn't trust him when he's going out and that's not that's not the kind of relationship I ever plan to be in so yeah, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I just, I'm so embarrassed. More than anything, I'm just so embarrassed. Like, I don't even, I don't want to be embarrassed, though. Like, I don't want to be embarrassed. And I think that's why I'm so emotional. Because it's like, damn, like, I got to tell my mom. And I just... That's a shame that more than anything, I'm just embarrassed. I'm embarrassed that I'm sitting here posting him and having him as my boyfriend. And he didn't post to me, y'all. Like, he didn't. So that should have been a sign right there. It just sucks. It just sucks because he was probably talking to so many different other girls. And it's like, they probably all knew about me. And if they didn't, he still did. So, it sucks, and it's emotional, and it's difficult. But... I think this really gonna boost my confidence. Like, not sitting here getting cheated on by somebody, not sitting here having to be insecure about our relationship and I needed this guy.
it's over for real. I just made room in my life for something great to happen. God just made space in my life to bring in something new. And it don't got to be another nigga. I'm not even worried about that. And that's why I just wish in peace. Because the fact that you can't you can't be satisfied in life, like, that sucks. That sucks. I just... I'm just ready. I'm ready for this new phase of my life. I'm ready for this excitement. I'm ready for joy. I'm ready for me and my daughter to just be in this house loving on each other. And I'm just, I'm so ready for my life, dude. Like, I'm so excited and I'm so happy. I am so excited. And my gifts have been heightening so much. Like, I've just been seeing so much stuff. I My clear audience has been, oh, my God, y'all. I've been, like, hearing, like, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm hearing voices, like, every two seconds. And every two seconds, I'm, like, looking around. Like, loud noises have really been a thing for me lately. Like, I can't listen to the TV while I'm talking, because then I feel like I can't hear my own fucking voice, like, I can't, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know, I can just feel that, like, my DNA is upgrading, I can feel that, like, my life is kind of, like, about to change, and I don't know what type of way, I don't, I don't know, like, what's coming, I don't really know, like, what to expect, <sighs> I'm kind of nervous, but at the same time, I've already... <clears throat> Oh, I'm sorry. I've already accumulated like four readings today. I already accumulated like four readings today. I'm super, super, super excited. Um, ooh, I got the hiccups real bad now. I feel so nauseous. Um, cause I haven't fucking eaten. I didn't eat last night because I didn't have a taste for nothing. Like I didn't have a taste for nothing. I made tacos. But then I just didn't have the taste for them. I wanted something else. You ever just be craving, like, out-to-eat food, but, like, you can't get it or maybe you discipline it? Right now, I'm just, I'm really trying to make my business pop off. So, I'm not spending no money so that I can get, like, new waist beads and new products and new inventory and stuff for my t-shirts and stuff like that. So, I'm I'm trying not to spend no money. And, y'all, if y'all didn't know, I stopped smoking for real, for real. I have not spent no money on weed. Like, bitch, it's done. It's dead. It's, that's out. So, I forgot how I even got to talking about that. Um. Oh, because last night, I just didn't have a taste for nothing. I didn't have a taste for nothing. But right now, I'm so fucking hungry. And I don't know what to fuck to eat. I don't even feel like cooking. I just wish I could put something in the microwave. But I'm vegan. And vegan shit, you can't just pop in the microwave. Like, you gotta cook some shit. So, I don't know what I'm finna make. Ugh, my stomach is hurting. I got cramps, bitch. Like, ugh. Y'all. Mm, sorry. Mm. Today has been a day. Today has definitely been a day. Boy, but y'all can rely on heavy videos. Y'all can rely on a lot of motivation from me. Like, y'all can tell that, like, I'm finna be on all of that. I'm finna be on all of that. Um... But yeah, I don't know, because at this point, I'm just rambling and talking shit about nothing. I just, I just want to tell y'all to pay attention to the red flags. Don't, don't be scared to listen to yourself. Like, if something is on your spirit constantly, like, and you can't get it off because for months, I'm just like, this nigga is not faithful. Like, I don't care how good he was treating me when he was home. I don't care how good we was, like... 
I don't care how good of a man you is. Like, I just felt that something was off. Like, I felt it in my spirit. And it's crazy because I swear to God, we just had this conversation like three days ago. He was like, um, Caprice, you so tapped in. You would know if somebody was doing something on you. Like, you be reading for girls and you be telling them they man cheating on them. And you don't know them from Adam and Eve. And it turned out to be true. So, with all of you knowing this, you still decided that you did not get my fuck. Like, <laughs> this man was so manipulative. Like, and so I'm realizing that either one, I'm manipulative too. I'm emotionally Im manipulative. I can't say that. Like, like I'm, you gonna feel what the fuck I'm feeling. That's how I manipulate situations. Like, if you hurt me, I feel like, but you finna hurt, feel that shit tenfold. Like, I will pull my energy all the way the fuck back from you, and you gon' feel that shit. That's emotional manipulation. It is. But it's also self-love. Like, I feel like before, I was kind of doing it to punish him. Before, I would just block him, and I'd talk to him for like a week or whatever. And now... At first, I was doing it because I wanted him to act right. It's kind of like, okay, get your shit together. I'm going to punish you by you not talking to you. And then you get your shit together. Now, bitch, I'm not doing that shit. I don't really, I don't really feel like that's my job. Like, I feel like my job is to work on me and to figure shit out with me. Because my whole focus had become him. Like, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm dusty and crisp. I literally just woke up, kicked him out the house, and then I got on here. Like, he literally just left, like, 30 minutes ago. I sat there looking dumbfounded on my phone, trying to find the screenshots because he deleted them. Like, I literally woke up. I was asleep. I woke up. I looked at the message. I'm like, I love you. I miss you. I want to see you. And I woke up. I should have screenshot, but I'm like, Jonathan, what's this? And he already up and deleted it. <laughs> I wrote her like, hey, why'd you block me? I didn't get a chance to see the messages. She like, girl, I ain't block you. Like, bitch, don't, don't do that. Like, and I'm so wholesome. I just, I be praying for that girl. Like, the girl that he wrote, like, I wrote, like, be praying for her. I be sending her messages like, you got this, queen. You got this. Like, motherfuckers is weird. And the girl, she going through a lot. Like, why the fuck this got to be on her plate, too? Like, Shit, it ain't gotta be on her plate. This ain't got shit to do with her. It's dirty. It's dirty. I don't know. You can put it on. Go ahead. Put it on. Do it. Let me see you do it. Put it on. You can do it like a big girl. Okay. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. My baby did see me snapping on him this morning. I ain't really snap on him, but I'm like, so this what you did? Like, this this what you do? How you love her? How you love her? How you miss her? Like, what? What you mean? Mommy. Huh? Can put that. Mhm. Mm but you don't got no um pants on, so let me. When I got a photo. Y'all, I was planning on doing like couple vlogs and all kind of stuff, all kinds of stuff, all kinds. Wait, wait, go. All right, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I am taking parts in the readings. You money. guys can catch it. Okay, wait. You guys can catch that me on Money Science Caprice Cook. You can also email me. I, I I said wait, right? Because you know that I heard you, and you hear me talking. <laughs> Say bye bye. Bye bye. Wait. Okay. <laughs> bye, y'all. What?